Hello everybody, welcome to this episode where I'm going to be showing you how to do basic assembly inside of Premiere Pro. And I have a lot of people asking me, why are you using Windows 7? And the answer is, I'm poor. Hey, you happy? Stop poor shaming. Anyway, um, assembly is basically uh, doing in points and out points and dropping them into your timeline. It's kind of a, a way to assemble your rough cut before you actually start fine tuning your edit, which we'll get into in future episodes. But right now we're going to show basic assembling. Uh, and up here you'll notice you got these layouts up here. And up here right now I'm under my editing layout and you'll notice I've got an assembly layout here, which kind of makes things a little more convenient. What it does is it narrows us down to three windows instead of four. I'm going to hit assembly. And you'll notice that now I have uh, just three windows instead of four. But up here you've got your source window and your program window instead of uh, side by side now. So we'll show you what that does here. I'm going to open up one of my scene folders. I'm going to double click on scene folder four. I'm going to go down to uh, tell it to show icon view here. So I have so I have thumbnails of all these images. I'm going to maybe increase that a little bit and kind of and increase the size of that a little bit. I'm going to click on sort icons and tell it to list view sort. I'm going to tell it to go to list view sort, which bases it off of your list view as well, which basically puts it in alphabetical order. Okay, with that, let's get started. So I'm going to find my first shot. I'm going to, so I'm going to move down here to my take three, because this was a, the good take. And I'm going to scrub my mouse about where I want it to start, because wherever you want it to start, that's where it's going to actually put the, the playhead inside of your source window. So I'm going to move it right, right when the slate goes out, and now I will double click on it. And it puts the playhead right where I scrubbed down here. And now I'm going to find the shot that I want to use. I'm going to play through this. So you notice that as I double clicked on it, it moved the program window behind and it opened up the source window. So it's just basically sharing this space. So now as I play, there's an action. I hit I for endpoint, puts an endpoint on that clip there. And then I play. Hey man, I got a house to myself. Pause, say I want to cut right there. I'm going to put O for out point. I'm just using the I and the O on my keyboard to do shortcuts for end point and out point. And now you'll notice it has saved this little section right here uh, to put inside of my timeline. Now I've got a few choices here. Uh, first of all, if I just want to drop video and audio down into my timeline, I just hit period and period will drop it down into my timeline. But one thing I want to make sure I have set up in my timeline here is my source patching. First of all, I want to make sure that my tracks are activated like this. So these are blue, but this is your source patching. This reads your clip that is in your source monitor and it says this clip has a video track track and an audio track and it's asking where you want to put these on the timeline. I can move these if I'm doing compositing or sound mixing, but right now I'm going to move these in and if I just if I turn the video off it'll deliver just audio and if I turn the audio off it'll deliver just video. But I want both right now so I'm going to select both and then I'm going to hit period and it drops it into my timeline and now it moves to my program monitor. My program monitor is viewing what I have in my timeline. I'm going to go above my enter key and my return key and hit the backslash so it like uh, zooms this out a little bit. And there we go. Now I'm going to hit home, my home key, to go to the beginning of the timeline and my spacebar to play. Now we're going to cut to the close-up. I'm going to move down and grab the take three, and it loads it on the um, loads it on play loads the playhead to the frame where my mouse st uh, stopped on the scrubbing down here. But I'm going to take this to the beginning, hit home, and by the way. By the way, if you use the keys J, K, L, J is rewind, K is stop, and L is forward. So if I hit L once, it's going to go through 100% speed. If I hit L again, it's going to go faster. And if I hit L again, it'll go faster, faster, faster. And when I hit K, it stops. This is a, kind of an easy way of finding a spot that you want to play, that you want to put an endpoint. So I'm going to rewind this because I want it back to where he's reading the same line from down here. I'm going to match cut to that from the full shot to the, to the close up. I'm going to hit J for rewind. J again, go faster, faster, and stop with K. So if you have your three fingers on J, K, and L, you can quickly kind of navigate through your timeline here. I'm going to press my space bar for, space bar for play. And then get host to myself. Stop, because that's where I want to match cut. In point, I, press play. One, two, And right there, I want, I'm going to match cut to him sitting back down to the wider shot. So I'm going to have O for out point, period, drop it into the timeline. And if I want to go to my timeline, right now you'll notice I am highlighted over my program window. So I can hit Shift 3 to go to my timeline, hit the slash above my Enter key so I can see everything in my timeline, hit Home, and play through and watch my edit. Amen. 
there we go. Now some of these edits might not match perfectly. And what I'd suggest at first is just get all the clips kind of in order that you want down in your timeline before you go in and start fine tuning. In the upcoming episodes, we're gonna go through the toolbar and show how to fine tune. We'll go through all these tools and show you what these are used for. Well, let's do one more edit just to show that basic assembly here. I'm gonna hit my end key to go to the end of my timeline. I'm gonna cut back to the wide shot, double click on the wide shot here, and find that portion where he's speaking here. Now I'm just kind of guessing, I'm just kind of hitting stop on the fly and going to hit I for endpoint. And I know this is probably not going to match perfectly down here, but once again, I'm doing an assembly or a rough cut. So I press play. And stop. O for out point, period, to drop it into my timeline. Shift 3 to jump to my timeline, and I hit the slash above my enter key and then I can see my whole timeline. And let's take a look at the transition from this shot from the from the close-up to the wide. And there is a mismatch there, but we're going to be fixing that in an upcoming episode. And that's what I recommend doing for assembly, is uh, view it under assembly mode, first arrange under assembly mode, and then just basically double click, in point, out point, and drop it in. Double click, in point, out point, and drop it in, and get your story told in basic order, and then after you get all the shots down inside your timeline that you need, then you have a basic rough cut, and then you can move on to trimming. If you want to watch more of these tutorials, you can go to youtube.com slash chinfat, and that will take you to my channel. From here, you can click on playlists. And under playlists, you'll see all of my playlists, including the new one, Premiere Pro CC 2018. If you click on that one, you'll see a list of all my episodes posted to the right. And you can watch them from the beginning if you wish. Thanks for watching. Get rid of Windows 10, get rid of your Mac, and just get Windows 7. Thank you.